Hello there, I'm Harrison from Escape Trailer, and today we're talking dinettes, dinette modifications, table mounting systems, cushions, and a few other items. If you like this content, be sure to like, subscribe, and comment with your favorite dinette type, dinette modification, table mounting system, or cushion type. Let's get started. Our first topic will be dinettes. The standard in the majority of trailers is the bench seat dinette. This features a dinette on either side, both with a depth front to back of 24 inches. The width varies from trailer to trailer. I'll put those dimensions here, or you can also find them in the floor plan configuration guide. These are an exceptionally useful resource containing a whole ton of information, including the standard and option locations for hatches, windows, outlets, lights, all that good stuff. It'll also have on the last page, the dimensions of the floor plan, including the dinette and the table size, which we'll talk about in just a little bit. The option is for the U-shaped dinette. This adds an 18 inch deep bench here at the dinette, forms a very nice U-shape and turns this into just a nice lounge space inside the trailer. I always say that this is best for two people and a dog. You can have one person on either side, your dog laying across the back here, or one person stretching across their legs. It is an absolutely amazing arrangement when it comes to creating a lounge space inside the trailer, particularly when you pair it with the adjustable swiveling table mount option, which I'll discuss in just a little bit here. One important thing to consider when it comes to your table, because you're adding an 18 inch deep bench here, your table will become 18 inches shorter as a result. You might ask yourself which dinette type is right for me, and it really depends on what you plan on doing with the trailer the majority of the time. So let's quickly talk about my opinions on which arrangement is best for what scenario. In my opinion, the bench seat dinette is best for sitting the most amount of people around the table as possible, and that's because you have lots of seating space and you also have lots of floor space. As I mentioned earlier, the U-shaped dinette is best for two people and a dog or using this as a lounge space. Now, you might ask yourself, the U-shaped dinette adds more seating. So shouldn't I be able to seat more people inside the trailer? And that's technically true, but it also isn't. <laughs> and the reason why is because while I am adding more seating space, the space that this extra seating that I'm adding takes up, takes up floor space. So as you can see, you can sit four adults around the U-shaped dinette table, but it is going to be a little bit tight. So if you're planning on doing this more often than not, this is a key consideration for you to make. Now, when we talk about dinettes, the 21NE is the exception to everything I just said, and that's because it comes standard with the U-shaped dinette. And the reason why is that the 21NE has the largest dinette out of any of our trailers. Functionally, it has a 41 inch wide bench seat plus the 18 inch deep U portion or U shape portion of that dinette. So really you can seat way more people around that U-shaped dinette than you could U-shaped dinette in any other trailer. There is the option for the bench seat dinette in the 21NE. I won't be able to show you one because we just don't have one on the lot right now. The customization doesn't stop with just choosing your dinette type. We also have a number of different modifications when it comes to the U-shaped dinette. Let's start at the seat. As I've mentioned a couple times now, the U-shaped dinette comes standard with an 18 inch deep bench front to back at what I call the U portion of the trailer. You have the option to extend that from 18 to 22 inches. So of course you get a little bit more seating room, particularly for people's you know, upper leg, the thigh to sit onto the cushion. One important thing though, is that you lose of course, four inches of table size, so it becomes four inches shorter. And you also lose that four inches of floor space, so you further reduce the amount of people or the amount of feet that you can have on the floor. But you do get more storage under that U portion of the dinette. Next up, as I just mentioned, there's storage underneath your dinette benches as standard, whether you get the bench seat dinette or you get the U-shaped dinette. There's a plywood hatch that lifts up underneath so you can access all that nice storage underneath the dinette. In the case of the U-shape or that U portion of the dinette, that access runs across the majority of the width of the trailer. So you have the option to split that plywood so you can open up either half as you please to access exactly the area that you'd like to. Next up, we'll talk about the seat cushion for the U portion. The seat cushion on your U portion as standard runs across the width of the trailer. 
This can be a little bit cumbersome to handle for some, so you have the option to split the seat cushion, thereby making it easier because you can manipulate two halves a lot easier than you can one full piece. This is by far the most highly requested U-shape modification available. Our final U-shape modification comes to this, the what I call the backboard of the U portion. As standard, it's two inches thick with a plywood backing, and it runs across the majority of the width of the trailer. Just like with a split seat cushion, you have the option to split this back cushion and it will increase the thickness from two to four inches. So when you do this, the plywood backing will be removed and you'll have four inches of our cushioning and it'll be split right down the middle to make it just a little bit easier to manipulate and move around these cushions as opposed to moving around this one really big one. Let's take a quick foray and talk about cushions inside your trailer. As standard for the majority of cushions with the exception of this one right here. These cushions are four inch high density foam cushions wrapped with one of our seven standard choices for fabric. So these are included in the base price or you can choose your own custom fabric and we'll put those on those cushions for you. That is a really nice and popular option. So talking about the cushions, like I said, four inch high density foam cushions, as standard, they have what I call a vinyl backing. So the majority of sides have the wrap of your chosen fabric but on the back, we have this very nice beigey vinyl backing. This is really great for if you have, you know, dirty or, or wet people or animals inside the trailer, you can flip this side up, have them sit or lie down on here. And once they've left the trailer, you can come and wipe it down and come back to your beautiful chosen fabric. The option is for the full wrap on cushions. So just like it sounds, you wrap this the whole way around, fully wrapped with your fabric of choice. And this is great, compare it to rotating tires. So what you can do is you can get your cushion, flip it over, maybe move it around to the other side, and it will just allow you to really extend the life of your cushions by rotating them through, just like your rotating tires. As I've mentioned, the back cushion at the U portion of the dinette is a little bit of a different case. As I said earlier, it comes standard with a plywood backing. And of course, that really wouldn't be that comfortable to lie on. So we've chosen to put a cambric backing on the back of this cushion because it isn't designed to be reversible. If you choose the full wrap on cushions option with the standard arrangement for your back cushion, so you haven't chosen to split it and increase the thickness, it'll still have that cambric backing. It won't have the, the full wrap on the cushion, just on this cushion. However, if you choose to get the split cushion and increased thickness, if you choose the vinyl backing, it'll have the vinyl back because that plywood has been removed when you increase the thickness. Or if you choose the full wrap on cushion and you choose to split and increase the thickness, it will be fully wrapped with your fabric of choice because it is fully reversible when it is increased thickness and split. To wrap up our discussion on dinettes for now, all dinettes convert into beds, regardless of what table mounting system or dinette type you choose. The way this works is that your table comes down, sits on the runners on either side, and your back cushions slot into place to create your bed area. I briefly mentioned table mounting systems, and that's gonna be our next topic. We have three table mounting systems available. We have the standard two post mounting system. We have the option for the Springfield pedestal table mount. And finally, we have the option for the adjustable sibling table mount, which is exclusive to the U-shaped dinette. So let's talk about these different table mounting systems, how they function and how they turn into beds. Let's start with the standard two post mounting system. As you can see, it has two posts underneath the table. And the way this turns into a bed is that you pop the tabletop off, the two posts come out from their brackets, and then the tabletop sits on the runners below. And as I mentioned earlier, your cushions come and sit on top. It's really easy to turn into a bed, but if you have poor shoulder or back mobility or strength, it may be a struggle for you. Or if you're converting into a bed or dinette every morning and night, you may want something a little bit easier. Speaking of a table mounting system that is easier or easy yes to turn into a bed, I think the Springfield pedestal table mount is ideal for people who are turning the dinette into a bed every morning or night. The Springfield pedestal table mount has one post, so you save a little bit of leg room, and it's pneumatic powered pistons. The way you turn this into a bed is that you have two locks on that post. You take those locks off, and then you push down onto the table with your body weight, and then once it's in position, you lock those locks back up, 
and your bed has been made. So as you can see, it's much easier and it doesn't require that strength or that mobility to lift the tabletop off. So it really makes it that much easier to make your dinette into a bed. Both the standard two post mounting system and the optional Springfield pedestal table mount come with a sliding mechanism underneath the table, allowing the table to slide side to side to make it easier to access the dinette. This also features a set screws so that you can lock the table in place if you don't want it to slide. As I mentioned, the Springfield pedestal really increases leg room that you have available, but if you want to increase leg room or space underneath your table, I think that the adjustable swiveling table mount is the ideal option. And that's because it mounts to the back face of the dinette. So you have a fully open area underneath the table. Another benefit of this is that it can move around in a whole bunch of different directions all around. So like I said earlier at the beginning of the video, it's paired very nicely with the U-shaped dinette because as you can see here, I'm sitting at the corner of the dinette. I pull this table towards myself and I have it right here in front of me. This is absolutely my favorite table mounting system that we have available. When it comes to turning this into a bed, it's simple. It's pretty much like the two post mounting system with a couple extra steps. But in essence, you take the tabletop off, you have a few brackets that come out, and then the tabletop sits on the runners down below. Key note with the adjustable swiveling table mount, it cannot be paired with the split plywood bench seat option. And the reason for that is that because there's some bracing that we put in when we split the bench seat, which is coincident for that bracing that I mentioned earlier for the adjustable swiveling table mount. So you can't have both. It's either one or the other. Our final topic is a front dinette on the 17B F1 and F2. So as standard, this is a single person dinette, meaning a single person can sit on either side of the dinette or when converted down into a bed, one person can lay across the length and sleep there comes standard with a one post table mounting system. So it's the exact same as a two post table mounting system. It's just one post instead of two. There are no options for table mounting systems at this dinette, but there is a totally unique option available at the front dinette of the 17B F1 and F2. It's called the gaucho bunk. So essentially what this does is adds a flip up front bunk that can flip up. And then once that is in place, you can sleep two people at that front dinette. So one person on the bottom and one person with a weight limit up to 200 pounds on that top bunk. It's a lot of fun. Thanks for watching everyone. Make sure to comment with your favorite dinette type, modification, table mounting system, or maybe your favorite fabric. If you have any questions, email us at sales at escapetrailer.com, or you can always give us a phone call. I'm Harrison from Escape Trailer, and we're built for you.